Welcome back to a set of a podcast. I'm your host, Victor, and my co-host, Mark. How you doing, yeah. sir? I'm doing good. How are you, Vic? I'm doing good, man. I mean, I could be better. Haven't escaped the back rooms just yet. Um, <laughs> yeah, Yo, watch still, out, <laughs> we still, I'm still stuck. Mark got out. Um, yeah. If you haven't caught that last video, make sure y'all go check that out. We do plan on escaping at some point, so I will be out of here. We'll be back in the studio momentarily. <laughs> I will be out of here. We'll be back in the studio. It's okay. Um, unfortunately, due to scheduling conflicts and stuff, we weren't able to be in the studio this week. Plus, there was just some other stuff going on at the place that didn't allow us to record our usual time. So we here. We always make sure we get the episode out for y'all. So it's all good. Um, Mark, what's new with you, man? I got a couple things um, on the table I want to talk about, but I want to give you the floor for as much as you can. I like okay. the blanket. Where'd you get it? Um, some nice guy gave it to me um, around the time of Christmas. And the pillow, too. The pillow is oh, fire, yeah. too. Zanny <laughs> Susan, all right, but that pillow is pretty nice back there. Yeah, man. You know, I look every time I before I go to sleep, I look at that. I'm just like, dang, like I really took this picture with this man. And yeah, on top yeah. of that, every day I look at it. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> every day I'm like, I look at it. every day you wake, I'm not gonna let you ever forget that you met this man. <laughs> exactly. You know it's crazy. Sometimes I do forget. Um, so to just do a little tiny segue for something for me is just like um recently I was just hanging out with a couple of people from church, just kind of like the people that I um I guess in a sense, like work with or whatever to do things that like do stuff with the camera and just like kind of media and everything like that. And we were doing a, just an icebreaker of like two truths, one lie. And I low key be forgetting, like I could use that as like a truth and I could pretty much probably get some people off with that one little like, like I got some interesting stuff, you know? Right. <laughs> so, yeah, but um, no, other than that, like, yeah, you know, um, this past weekend I got baptized. Um hallelujah Lord's presence yeah man it was amazing um loved it loved every second of it and uh yeah ever since it's just been just been a great journey so yeah i just want to say i guess that was like the biggest uh pinpoint of my my weekend um i, I just want to say i've been holding this in it's been a couple of days removed and i'm happy for you we had the conversation in the group chat but it's mm -hmm. been killing me and i gotta tell you why did they have you in Nike socks in that pool, bro? Uh, you couldn't bring uh, you couldn't bring Crocs or nothing. <laughs> no, no, I could. That was a me thing. That was uh, a me thing. Um, I don't know. I guess it was just me being nervous, and I just ended up forgetting things like halfway you, through you when I was think about, you know. Yeah, like again, it was my first time doing a full like body, so yeah, I was just last like, time, yeah, last time, last you was time an infant. it was just, just that's it, you know, or at least that's what I think. Um, but yeah, you were so there, was, but you weren't there. You exactly. Know what I mean, it was so long ago. Exactly. So for the most part, I was sitting here just trying to think of the things and I kind of like had everything in mind as far as like the um, my clothes that I was bringing after it and all that stuff like that. But literally in my head, I wasn't thinking of the fact that I was going to be going in the water, like what was on my feet. Like I wasn't even thinking of that part. And I'm like, dang, I should have definitely thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it just caught me off guard. You're like, guys, can we call an audible? Can I just tilt my head back? I did it the first, like the last time I did. Let me do that. <laughs> did y'all do that here? <laughs> like, nah, nah, we need your full body, bro. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that was really about it, though. Listen, you've been you've been on this habit of just like dropping news on us like minutes before it happens. So mm -hmm. you're two for two right now. Um, it won't happen again. No, no, no. <laughs> it, it probably will, but it's okay. No, no, no. Won't. I'll make sure it won't this time. I'm a new man. I'm baptized. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that <laughs> was the that, that was pre that was the old mark. That was the old mark, bro. <laughs> yeah, we got a new one, but no, that's that was dope. And to see the video and stuff, and everybody having everybody there, which was really nice. So yeah, it was that's great. that's a big thing. I see. Like I knew it happened, but I also forgot until you like brought it up just now. I'm like, oh yeah, that did happen like a couple of days ago. It's yeah, just, exactly. Days they, be days be doing this. I, I feel you on that, bro. Honestly, like. And it's my late week at work. So a lot of times when that happens, it's like I barely get time when I get home to really even like comprehend things that I need to do. And then mm -hmm. the next day just starts and I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that was like my last two days where I was just like, I'll get home from work and somebody's like, oh, what you about to do? I'm like, I'm going to get ready for tomorrow because I yeah, <laughs> the, the, the day is the day's over. <laughs> Uh, yo, bro, come on, man. Let's do something. It's just like, bro, like I literally only have this time yeah. <laughs> to, to get myself ready. If not, I got, I, got up go. at 6, 7 a.m., did my whole routine, went to work 9 to 5, drove home. It's like 6 o'clock because traffic. I eat yeah, dinner and then I'm like, all right, I got to get my workout in or something. By yeah. that time, I got a shower. And now I'm in time bed. to go to sleep <laughs> and do it all over again. Like wake back up. Yep. I feel like that uh that meme. Well, it's not a meme, but that episode with uh Squidward where he's just Bro. like the routine, just like every day, he just does the dance, bikes, <laughs> just same I, thing. I know, I know it's a kid's show and it's all jokes, but that episode, like that little scene, like haunts me. Like I don't want to live like that. So, <laughs> like it's 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 a joke, but it's not a joke. 
No, nah, yeah, definitely but, when you manifest and just get that life that you want where it's like everything just kind of doesn't feel like work. It's just your day. So that's what we're working on, people. Yep. How y'all doing? Y'all been, they really like the the Family Guy video. That drone got like 500 views almost. Awesome. It's popping off. A lot of people commenting on it. Good times. Like, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people asking like, where they, how do you do it? But yeah, we, I explain it to them every time. I don't care how many times you guys ask because I love y'all. Um, one thing that I wanted to touch on, because like a lot of, I write stuff down that I see throughout the week. And I'm like, all right, let's talk about this. But then there's other things we're like, I'd rather do in the studio. But this, I feel like we just got to put out there because it's local to us. And I don't know if you even knew this happened. But we had sneaker con in Philly, like last yeah, yeah, week. Yeah. I don't know if you were aware or if you attended. I didn't, I didn't attend. attend. I heard about it though. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of. I've like when I was younger, I've always wanted to do like conventions and stuff like that. But now I feel like we kind of missed our window with that. Like imagine, yeah. like when we were, when we were like in middle school, high school, bro. Like the idea of like going to PAX and like what was it like E3? Yeah, yeah and yeah, all that yeah. stuff was like so cool to me. Like I wanted to go, and now like, it's like E3 is not even a thing anymore. I was just about sneakerhead culture yeah. is just like online resellers and bots so it's just not as fun anymore like just killed the whole vibe no nah, yeah um yeah the only like conventions i've been to obviously i mean i don't know if you would call it a convention but you know the auto show you know that's something in a sense that's a car convention say. yeah yeah so i've been to that and i've been to some gaming conventions but again that was all when i was just like younger and stuff yeah. like that so it was like that vibe anymore is just not gonna i mean like i think to me gaming conventions would still be dope like mm-hmm. I just I, I think it, it'd be pretty cool, you know, because you just you just be surrounded by people who obviously like love the same games. stuff, yeah. And not to mention just like you get to see like the new stuff that's coming out, like mm-hmm. you know, like you, there's giveaways and stuff like that, so it doesn't just seem like you're there for like two seconds and you're just like surrounded by just playing some games. It's like okay, there's actually something worth going there for. Yeah. So that's what I would say is like cool about it. But yeah, about the sneaker con though, it was just like I saw that and I'm like. I feel like it's uh, it'd be cool to just like go over there, like just kind of check it out a little bit. But then I feel like I would be like, yeah, like I'm not going to cop anything. Like everything's like 800 bucks for like some basic yeah. sneakers now. Like yeah. it's not as fun as it used to be, at least in my opinion. Like I I still pay attention to sneakers, but I'm not as tapped in as like when we were younger, obviously, because like back then you actually had to either go in person or like know somebody, yeah. and like it was cool. Now it's like everything's online, and like which is better for safety, but now the prices are just so insane it's just not even like I, i'm just yeah. tapped out of it but i feel like it would be i think it would still have some of its value in it if there wasn't some anything as far as like bots if bots weren't a thing yeah that's i feel like with things everything. would still be good because like again the only reason why value and stuff like that i feel like skyrocket so much is because people are just getting all these like shoes like you know they're yeah. getting like 15 pairs because they get they some, have bots so some dude's like, apartment has like 50 nike boxes stacked to the ceiling and exactly they're not moving anywhere that's the only reason why like if that wasn't a thing and only somebody got maybe like two most it's like okay now i actually have a chance to i'm pretty sure stores would still actually like sell them because it's like they don't feel like they're going to get sold out that quick so yeah people start getting shot and stuff so it was like weird but the the real reason i want to even bring up sneaker con in the first place because like i knew some people that went and like it seemed all right like you know it's it, it is what it is like they have so many locations now to do it at least now it's a lot more widespread Cause like remember when we were younger, it was like oh like all those conventions were like L.A. or like New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now there's like Atlanta, Texas, like all that stuff like spread out now. But I don't know if you know that like our former president was there. Um, I don't know if you saw like what happened there. He pulled up. It was like a last minute thing too. Like I saw flyers for Sneaker Con Philly, and I was like oh like that's dope. I'm not gonna be able to make it, and like I don't really care to. So I was like I just let it happen. Um, but. Then I saw like a day before the event happened, it was like, oh, like Donald Trump's gonna make an appearance there. And then SneakerCon put a post out. I was like, yeah, like um kind of being in the middle of it, they were just kind of like, oh, like we don't support or not support, like we're just there for people who care about sneakers, like let's make it about sneakers. I don't care that John Donald Trump is gonna be there. Yeah. Then this man pulls up with a four hundred dollar pair of sneakers that he's trying to sell. Did you see them? I, I didn't see them. No. Um, I'm gonna. I have a photo here. If, if anything, I could try and show them to you at least. Yeah. And then... I I heard like I said the same thing with you. Like I remember I saw a post about sneaker con. Oh, that's not gonna work. Yeah. I'm, just gonna, I'm <laughs> gonna text them to you. <laughs> I was like, what am I looking at? It's like they're uh, invisible. I'm like that's four hundred dollars. <laughs> no, but I. You. I definitely saw a site post about it and stuff like that. And I saw it like leading up to it. And then literally maybe like the week before, week and a half before I heard about the whole thing about, you know, the boat, like him showing up. And I really had to look at it like twice to be like, really? why? 
Yeah. Why? Like, that's so weird. Because Donald that's... Trump is so well known for his heat that he got, like, <laughs> in his closet. Yeah, he's known for the the uh, fake behind. What are these things? Bro? It's like something like... <laughs> stopped you in your tracks. You can't even finish your sentence. <laughs> this thing looks like something a wrestler would wear, bro. Like, legit a wrestler would wear. It looks like stuff you would find, like, at a Payless. Like, the clearance <laughs> of a Payless. Yeah, like, that... That gold on that just better be legit, like gold. Like, <laughs> like you know, it's not. <laughs> like, if it is, I would understand why this man would probably wear it. And like, like what? You would What's find those in like a Burlington coal factory in like a size fifteen, and like that's why they're there. Like, you wouldn't know why <laughs> why they're there. Like, what's the colorway? Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I saw that post. Saw him was showing up. I think I was at the gym actually when I saw that on mm. the TV, and I was just like, why is this man showing up here? But I didn't even really know exactly what he was going to be doing there, so. Yeah, I mean, he pulled up in appearance. I don't know if they paid him or he just like decided he was gonna pull up. But um, the name of pay that man. Yeah, the the name of the sneakers that you just saw they're called the Never Surrender High Tops, <laughs> <laughs> and they run for four hundred dollars, three ninety nine yeah. if you want to be precise. Say it again. What is it? The Never Surrender High Tops. <laughs> 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 I ain't gonna lie, that's low key hard. Just a oh tiny bit. It's <laughs> just a tiny bit. The never surrender. Yeah, but like, look, like if he did like a whole rollout release, a marketing release of this, where it was like he said the names of them and like oh, he teased them and never showed up, I'd be like, yo, like these sound like they're gonna look hard. But like the fact that we saw <laughs> the sneaker first and then we found out the name. Okay, 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 okay. This is my thing. I think I'll say this. I'll say the name is tough. The name is tough. The shoe is terrible. Yeah. Name like, is you know what he should have did for if he was really trying to make bread off this? He should have like teased it. Like, you know, like did a photo of it, but like a black silhouette that didn't show you what the sneakers look like. Yeah. yeah and then yeah, the yeah. name, and it's like dropping this date this much. Pre orders only. You don't get to see them. <laughs> yeah. You know how tight people are. <laughs> And then he ships them Johns out and he <laughs> already got the bread. Y'all got the sneakers. I'm out. Deuces. And he would have made know, a yeah. he would have made a couple mil off that. Definitely, bro. Released like only maybe like what maybe like two hundred of them or something like but, that. But then he would have his campaign chance would have been real low because all the people oh, that support him would have been tight that they sold him that for four hundred dollars. Either um, that or the people that really support him are like, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I look teach their own. There's people that that like that kind of style, you know, a little flashy. Oh, yeah, of course. Um. But yeah, that happened. He also has a cologne on that website that's selling the sneakers as well. If you want to know the name of that one. I would love to know the name. Do you want to take a guess before I tell you? You got the Never Surrender. And I couldn't even think what a cologne smell would be. I don't even know. what I don't know what it smells like. I just know the name. No, no. But like just based off of what it could smell like, I'm thinking of what he probably would name it. It Smells like winning. Yeah. (laughs) Smells like China. (laughs) Republicans. (laughs) Um, I, I can't guess. You just gonna yeah. have to um it's called the Victory 47 cologne. The Victory 47. I'm not gonna lie, the naming part, he got that joint down. <laughs> the naming <laughs> is great. I don't know what the bottle looked like, I don't know what it smelled like, but it's called Victory 47. Do you know why it's called Victory 47? Nah. Because if he were to win this next election, he'd be the 47th president. Gotcha. I was wondering, I'm like, is it would it have to be with the fact that he's gonna be the president? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and it's a hundred dollar bottle. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I guess. I mean, I feel like it'd just be watered down like Cheeto dust, but I don't know. Well, I mean, as far as what it smells like, I mean, yeah, I have nothing. I'm talking about the price. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. That's common, you know? So I'm like, okay, it's not that bad. <laughs> but I'd imagine if you were to sell this, this would be like Sears catalog cologne. Like, you like you know, like there's like these cheap bottles of oh, Jennifer yeah. Lopez cologne in like a department oh, store. Yeah. Like, you work at Macy's, Ross. you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, <laughs> go there, you go to Ross, bro. At Ross is where you see it the most. Like, you've been seeing Jones, you never even thought you heard of yeah. before. Yeah. There's some that I like, like if I, no, I'm like a lot because like Marshalls, Ross, Burlington, they be having like the little cologne section. They be having like name brand cologne. So I'll pop in from time to time, give me a nice little bottle for the, for the cheap ski, you know, Versace, a little uh, Gucci, a little, 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 you know, the name John brand. B, yeah, John B. Goosey. Yeah. <laughs> but it'd be legit. I, I found a Dolce and Gabbana, John. I got that bottle right oh, yeah. there. John was light, like the light blue. You know what I'm talking about? Um, gotcha, gotcha. But then you go there and they also have like, you forget like Usher has a cologne. And like, True. and like all these other Cristiano Ronaldo has a cologne. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan has a cologne, right. and then the, and the women too. That they have like Ariana Grande cologne, or like Paris Hilton, and like Britney Spears cologne or perfumes, I should say. So yeah, I feel like you will find Donald Trump's. If I find Victory Forty Seven there, I'm gonna buy you a bottle. 
No, I buy me. Why can't you just buy it? And I try it. Because I'm a nice guy, bro. Look, you got the blanket. You got the Adam Sandler. Put it right next to the Adam Sandler pillow. You, you, I'm not sleeping. Spray the pillow with the Victory 47, bro. <laughs> Heck no, bro. I would never do that, bro. <laughs> I'll never be able to go to sleep. <laughs> like, You'd yo, be why am I up? up? <laughs> be no, like the episode right of, of SpongeBob with the onions. Oh, yeah, I'll just yeah, be yeah. crying every time before like, I go to sleep. <laughs> why am I crying? Why is this here? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but yeah, that happened. Apparently, he said they sold out. But we also don't know how many he brought. Of course, he's gonna say it sold out. He oh, brought... so he brought some there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. His intention okay. was to pull. It. Like he wanted to set up a table like everybody else. And, <laughs> you just and so weird. Like bro, you're the president. You were a former president, bro. Stop. He don't stop only trying to, to act be like, like this, bro. Stop like... trying to be like us, bro. We know you're not us. Just stop, bro. <laughs> nah, nah. Side note, I'm gonna keep talking about this, but like I also saw another clip or video. I don't know how factual it is. It could be AI. That's another thing that's like kind of all that we need to talk about. We're not going to talk about that today. Um, Joe Biden, like, was eating. I saw a video. I don't know if it's real. Joe Biden was sitting at a dinner table eating like food with a black family and saying that like it was, it was like a plate of like fried chicken and stuff. Like that's what he brought to them. I don't know if this was real or fake. I just saw this because could have been records reposted. It could be fake, but I saw this video. He was sitting there eating fried chicken with a black family and he asked them, like, oh, what sports do you play? <laughs> the little boy. And the dad was like, yeah, tell him about your black, your basketball team. So I just had to put oh, that up. Oh, you mean he went to their crib, right? Yeah, I he, remember that. He pulled up I with food. I remember seeing that, John. I didn't know he pulled up with food. I thought he just visited a home. I thought maybe this this guy, this father had to probably be in like the, like the uh, you know, military. The army or or, I mean, maybe he was, but like they were in regular clothing. and. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He probably just visited them, you know, while, while they were home. And I, that's, I remember that's all I really like thought of it as because like, I could have seen, I, I had the video there. I didn't click on it, but I remember the kids were like kind of geeking and they were trying to take pictures and stuff. <laughs> he was next to them. Just, and I was like, yo, what is happening in this video? Yeah, nah. <laughs> I also remember, I don't know if this is like still out there. This was a real video, but he was during his campaign to like run. I believe it was him that he was telling, he went to a rally, like basically campaigning himself to win for the presidency. He was like, oh, like, if you don't vote for me, then like you're not black. I remember him saying that at one point, which was great. People don't like to talk about that. Um, oh, but yeah, back to the sneaker con. Um, so he claimed they sold out. You know, good for Donald. He needs it. Um, I don't know if you know this, but he owes the government like five hundred million dollars in fines, uh, half a billion dollars to make it short for y'all because he oh, lost yeah. two court cases in New York. He can't do business in New York. Oh, another thing about the sneakers, it's technically not sold by him. Like if you look up the website, it says like not sold by the, has no affiliation, not sold by Donald Trump, blah, 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 but it has all his name on it. He can't. He popped out with them. But he, because huh. he's in court right now for all those criminal cases, he can't do business in like the state of New York or anything like that. So he has to do it like he has to pay another company to do all this stuff for him because he can't legally sell this stuff on his own. Hmm. Because the former president has like seven uh, felony charges and cases against him running right now. He lost two of them in New York already, owes half a billion dollars. So these four hundred dollars sneakers and Victory Forty Seven cologne. So he does have sell a couple billion, units. Then. He owes half a billion. Well, you were saying like both of them were half a billion. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. um, one was like three hundred fifty-five million, which he lost the day before sneaker con. The day before sneaker con, he was in court, and they were like, "Yeah, you got paid three hundred fifty-five million for this court case." And he had lost another one prior that was like a hundred and something million. So in total, half a billion dollars in That's penalties. All right, hurry up, get the bus ready. We move we're going yeah. over to Philly. <laughs> so he has to pay half a billion just for penalties. He also has to fund the campaign. For presidency because he's i'm assuming he's running and also has to win or potentially pay more money in the other cases that he's still fighting right now aside from legal fees and all that stuff so yeah, yeah. you gotta buy a lot of bottles i also saw i don't know if it was him directly or somebody else started like a gofundme to like pay that mm -hmm. stuff off and they raised a lot of money really fast not enough that's, but like a lot of money that's insane bro that's why but, um but after hearing and seeing this story and I saw all this stuff and I was like, it'd be really great um, if we kind of tapped in on this. Cause like obviously sneakers, sneaker con, great market, cologne, great market. We don't have our own yet. But I had a couple of names for sneakers that I wanted to offer up to Mr. Donald. I don't know if you want to hear a couple out real quick. I will have them written down. I'm gonna say one and I'm gonna I'm gonna leave some air for you to really give me your opinions and whatnot. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. gotcha. No problem. Um Space Force Ones. Works well. He created the Space Force, mm, Air Force that. Ones, sneakers. What do you think? I think it's a good play on words. I think it, uh, 
I mean, like what they would look like, I don't know, you know, but, but I'm thinking obviously the same type of like sense, you know, maybe, maybe it has something to do with space on it, you know, maybe yeah, like, logo you know, on there, have the colors, like have that. it fit the yeah, space yeah. suit so they could wear them. True. True. Exactly. You know, you know what I'm gonna um, do? I'm gonna look up some AI something and I'm gonna try and get these like generators somehow. True, true, true. And I guarantee you, every single one are going to look better than the victory, never back down, never back, high never tops. Back <laughs> okay. Never yeah, back yeah, down, yeah. never what? Never what? <laughs> yeah, I um, I like that one. I think that okay. one, that's that's a good one. Strong start, simple. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying this is, this is, this is right now like a mock trial of like, if we were to bring this to Donald Trump, yeah, 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 would, yeah, would he agree? Would he be like yeah, a pitch? You know? a pr- yeah, a, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. paying with pitch, and you give you guys your, you guys give us our some comments as well and criticisms. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, another simple one. I might have some trademark issues, but like it fits. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Home Alone twos, because mm. he was in Home Alone yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, feel yeah. me? Home Alone twos. So how it would look, I don't know, but I like yeah, the name. Yeah. The name kind of goes hard. Like you said, some trademark issues, so I don't know how that would really work. Yeah, I don't know how uh, Macaulay Culkin would feel about it, but... True. Maybe there's, like, another thing we could do that's situated with that movie that probably... Yeah, we could switch it. We don't have to say Home Alone 2s, even though the name would be dope. Exactly, you know. know, But something similar to that that would make people, like, realize, oh, that's from that movie, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work in progress. We're going to put that in the back burner. Put a pin in that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. South of the Border 3s might be a little insensitive. But I don't know about that. <laughs> no, we could we could switch it up. I thought wall was too easy. You know, <laughs> this is true. But I think both um, wall is definitely like that's a, that's a no. That name was definitely not going no. Work. South of the border, I think is like. Should I say wall the... in Spanish? I mean, if you want, to. it might be also insensitive. <laughs> yeah, I think you're going. To, I think you're going further away. Uh, you're not getting closer. Uh, look, I'm just. <laughs> We aim high and we bring it back low. Okay. True, true, true. That's, That's what true. you're here for. That's why I brought you That's, in. Okay, okay, cool, cool. You know, you take these chances. I had some, you know, back and forth with some. I'm going to skip four because I couldn't think of a good one for four. I had to switch it up a little bit. I had to do some moving around. I spent a lot of time on this, um, but I ran out of time and we'll just do what we can. Gotcha. Classic, very simple, the You're Fired Fives. That one's good. That yeah. one's good. And you could make like a good that. silhouette out of that. You know what I mean? Yep, you yep. Get a fire, red. It, 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 exactly. it makes itself. You can do something. Yeah, you could do something good with that for sure. So we redeemed ourselves yeah, from the I south say, of the border I threes. Say some black with some red in that, John. It'd be tough. Careful with the, tough. I don't know if you'll like that first color, but um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll, bro, we'll, just... we'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll run it by him. We'll see. Gotcha. This one, a little risky. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a little risky. So this is this is number six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> January sixes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know about that one. No, it's, it's a little risky. <laughs> no. Capital January sixes. sixes. That's that kind of goes better. That that kind of goes better. That one I think is yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, that one's a good one. The name see, just see? Like, the name just kind of rings it, you know. <laughs> the juices are flowing, you know what I mean. But yeah, I got yeah, some, yeah. we got some good prospects right now. Okay, this one kind of got lazy with it, but like I could see the vision. Okay, China Nines, because mm. like a lot of times they have sneakers that are like they just a country and it's just like the yeah, silver. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like you can get away with that for sure. Has um, to be done in good taste. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, but. I don't think he cares that much, but <laughs> him, yeah, no. Um, but if he's not allowed to do business the way he is, and he has to go through somebody else, it's he up probably to has him. to get the maid over there. Yeah, true, true. You know, yeah. under, under it in big letters, it just has to say "made in China." <laughs> exactly, it's the only way to do it. Right on the soul. All right, now this one is an ode. Oh, I'll explain it after I say it. Big Mac tens. Now it's kind of a play on word because Mac ten weapon he's Not a weapon sure. he, he you know he's a he's force a weapon. he never backs down exactly yeah. never surrenders the never, never gives up <laughs> um this but, sounds like we're really like supporters of this. <laughs> I, I i'm here to let you know that we're not i just love a good laugh <laughs> yeah, yeah um but i don't know if you remember this um in college football when a team wins a championship or any team wins a championship they get to go to the white house 
Uh huh. Yeah. And the college team went to the White House because they won, and he yeah. got them a McDonald's buffet instead of like giving them like an actual dinner and got them like Big Macs and like Wendy's and pizza. So Big Let's Mac, see. Big Macs, fast food, Mac 10, Big Mac mm. 10. He ordered a lot of them. Triple so, entendre. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, he'd also have to work with McDonald's, you know, see what that goes like, you know. Maybe I, I, I guess you know we'll we'll work it maybe, out. Maybe maybe maybe. But like they've been doing. A, imagine like a Donald Trump meal. I can only imagine. And then like a, and then like our, if you like every, like a raffle for the sneaker too. Like if you get the meal, that would that would probably be probably fire. There's like a raffle in there for sure. See, bro. Like yeah. I'm just saying, I'm a marketing. Maybe it, maybe it's like one of those Johns where it's like when you get the drink. There's like a remember how they used to have the like peel, those, the monopoly the peel, joint. The peel, that's what I'm saying. The that monopoly joint. joint. You peel it on the cup. Just yeah, make the, the monopoly bullet like Trump, and then you peel yeah. it, and if you see you his face it. on it, his orange. You get <laughs> just straight up orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. straight up orange. That's what Did I'm you saying. ever get you anything with those it. monopoly things? I don't even remember. Like, I remember. I remember love it peeling them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I ever gotten anything from that though. But it'd be like, yeah, oh, like a free so. small fry. But I would never redeem it. Maybe it was that. Yeah, maybe I feel like I got like a small fry or something like that. I just sure. feel like it's, I feel like they do that on purpose. It gets such a pain. I feel like it's so embarrassing to be like, here's my little thing. Give me a small fry. <laughs> and the like, guy at the register is just like, bro. <laughs> yo, I can imagine how many of those you probably saw. Like around those times, those were released just on the floor. Like those little peel oh, things. Yeah. I, like this is how I would do it right though. Like in order for people to use those drones though, like. They have to have a time limit on it, and you can't have so many just used all yeah. the time. Because people, I think they did have like, the... I think they did yeah. have like expiration dates, if I remember correctly. Because somebody just going to show up to that John with like ten of them Johns, like I like, want my like full today. Meal. I want <laughs> like, my full meal. <laughs> they've had like, them Yo, bro, bro, these Johns like can't be using this. I wonder if I could go look on like eBay or something, and somebody has them like unused. Because you know how some people have like random stuff like that, like oh, like I found. Because you know, there's some McDonald's somewhere that had these. But they didn't use yeah. them all and they're just in the back somewhere and somebody True. just has like a whole box full the of Jones them in the top of the closet in the yeah. closet yeah that's what i'm saying but yeah like if they did that to avoid the issues with mcdonald's they could just do collab sure sure yeah so i mean yeah they have to do a collab in order for it to work you do the peel off boom listen bro there. we cooking right now i'm not gonna lie to you yep. on the spot too all right last one i couldn't think of an 11 one Actually, now that I say that, I thought of one, yeah, but it's yeah, okay. Yeah, We're yeah. gonna move past it. <laughs> I was like, I think I know it. <laughs> Which, wait, what? Did my mic change? I hear you fine. There was like a weird thing on my screen. Anyway, um, last shoe name: Paper Towel Twelves. What do you think? Do you need like for y'all that don't know at home? This... There was Hurricane Maria that happened during his presidency. Man, Donald Trump pulled up to Puerto Rico to help out. And there was a crowd of Puerto, Rico, Puerto Rican people needing supplies. And his initial thought was to say hello to everybody and then grab dollars, not even like bounty, like dollar store paper towels and just like shoot it like he's Kobe into the crowd of people who need supplies. Um, so that's where the inspiration for the sneaker was made. That's where I got my inspiration. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what do you think? Um, I think it's good. Those are definitely going to be some high tops. Um, I kind of, I, yeah. I, I vibe with it. I vibe with it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I vibe with it. I wouldn't yeah, say yeah. it's like my favorite, but I vibe with it. You know? Yeah, it's, 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 it's the middle of the pack it. one. We, had, exactly. we got to 12. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, you know, I did my best. You it's kind of like Jordan, like after like 13, it started 14, yeah, started, get to 13. it started getting a little like, all right, what are we doing here? We could, we yeah, should cut the line. Exactly. For sure. Um, so yeah, what do you think? Do you have any alternative names? Do you have any qualms, questions? Alternative names. Um, or if you want to fill in the gap for 11, uh, eight, seven or four. You couldn't think one for eight, seven or four. I did, <laughs> but I had to move around some names and then, you know, gotcha, things gotcha. got mixed up and then we had to hop on a call. So. Got you. I could work on them later. I mean, we can always just go around stuff that, like, like you've obviously been doing that. So maybe things, something that has to do with, like, again, orange, maybe yeah. something around that. Because like I was, because I was trying to like make it stuff specific to him, 
but also I didn't want to be lazy with it because I could be e- I could be easy and be like, hey, you know what I mean? Like, let's just draw some sleepy Joe eights, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep it easy. <laughs> um, crooked Hillary sevens. Exactly. Yep. Yep. So it's like the names are flowing. I had these in the back, but I'm like, these don't really fit to the numbers. You know, I, I try to have yeah, a theme yeah. where it was like it fit well with the numbers. Yeah. There's some other. It's, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah. There's some other things where it's like you could get really like out of pocket with it. And it's not yeah, because yeah. I'm out of pocket. It's because he said these things himself. Exactly. He's doing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't even blame me. He gave um, me the ammo, you know. You know, I could have, I, at first I had for China, I was going to do the vid. But you need that teen in there, you know what I mean? True. But like it was an it was an idea. I had it. Maybe you could say Corona, you know? Corona, Corona four or what was the name? What's the other name? SARS. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say like for the for the fours, but it it is it was a two. Um, I'm not sure. But like. Corona. Corona's yeah. a good one too. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Another collab. Mm-hmm. To get it in there. To get it in there. It's another collab. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Like you really live mass. Use... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or is that wait, is that I don't know I think, that no, is. No, that is that Taco Bell? Who's Live Moss? <laughs> it is Taco Bell. <laughs> there um, you go. Another one. Another La Vida. Collab. I think it's La Vida Mas Fina or something like that. La Vida Mas Fina. That's the one they do with Snoop Dogg. Mm. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had it a little mixed up, but still, <laughs> that's a collab. He could be on the beach, orange, tan. Yep, yep. Corona in hand. Corona in hand, and then what do you know? Buy it. <laughs> Buy it. And then you look right at his feet. What is he wearing? <laughs> I, normally, I normally don't wear sneakers to the beach, but today I made an exception. Right. <laughs> Corona fours. Right. Or maybe, maybe instead of sneakers, hear me mm-hmm. out. What if it's a slide? Like it's a scene. Ooh, switch it up a little bit. Yeah. Because you know you got like the Yeezy slides. He's doing like exactly. socks now that you wear outside. So yeah. you would really F the game up. Exactly. I like where you think. See, this is why we have these meetings. <laughs> exactly. So you could, yo, I don't know why anybody else has never done this. Because like, think about it. Like even, all right, now jokes aside, this is actually a really good idea. I give you credit for it. Because you think about like LeBron, right? He got sneakers for days. Right. Yeah, yeah. But one of the other crucial parts of hooping in your sneakers is taking off your sneakers after you hoop and throwing some yeah. slides on. Tired. Why doesn't why don't LeBron got like some freaky looking slides? <laughs> freaky looking slides. And I mean freaky in a good way, not like you know what I mean? Like true, some really true. nice, crazy design slides. I'm tired. True. How many times I gonna go am I gonna buy the Adidas sandals with the little prickly things that put <laughs> and, that fall off yeah, on my yeah, feet? Yeah. Or true, just a bro. simple Nike swoosh. I know. Yeah. I feel like he got slides with his logo, like the crown logo and the LJ. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah. make a line of like slides, bro. Like, true, go true. hit him up, bro. Don't, Call don't him. Just, don't just do like a one and done. You know, like kind of have some. Yeah. Make yeah. a. Why do you have twenty versions of your sneaker line and not throw in a little slide in there? Yeah. yeah. I feel like up the game up. A big part of the game is also the recovery from the game. Yep, yep. And when you're recovering, yo, Nike, and you're me. taking your shoes off, you need to put it into some Corona Fours, bro. Corona Fours. <laughs> Live Moss. <laughs> Live Moss. <laughs> yeah, we can, he can't do Taco Bell. He already offended that whole country. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I was like, you guys are relaxing now. <laughs> Maybe yeah, he might yeah. recover. Ah, because it's like, yo. Caro Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. He gets a Taco Bell dog to advertise it. Yo, bring it back. <laughs> yeah, this, could yeah. be, this, this could either backfire or get him elected. <laughs> so we should stop saying. talking. That's what I'm saying. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, hopefully y'all liked our presentation today. If you have any comments, constructive criticisms, additions, if you guys want to invest, or if any of you guys have context to these people, let us know. We'll, right. we'll make this happen. We got the ideas. We copyright, trademarked, all of that. So if you try to steal it, we're going to sue you. Yeah, you know what's right. another thing? Quinn hit me up today, right? Yeah. He sent me a screenshot. He's like, y'all are using the TV at work. I was using the YouTube app. And he found a page that downloaded our short clips that I edit and posted it on their channel. Wow. Put our at on it, but he put it on his channel. 
That's crazy. One video, but still, like we're not video. even that we're not even that yeah. big in general or yet. There's an ant on my mic. What the hell is that? Yo. Um it's the, it's the little small I, camera. So I, <laughs> I hear it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I, I found the page. He sent this to me. I looked it up and I swiped for whatever. He, that's one of them spam pages. They just post a bunch of clips. They got like 40,000 subs. But mm. I swiped super far to find our video. And then our comment says, yo, that's us. Like, just so you know, there was no comments. I only comment. They only had like 14 likes. But I was like, yo, like, that's our video. Like, he downloaded it straight off of TikTok. And it says like, at real, et cetera. But still, I was like, yo, that's kind of weird. Like, trying to take from the little guy, you know? Yeah. And it's just like... I feel like you you put our app, but like I don't think that's enough. Like yeah, like you, you could at least like, like contact us. Yeah, like, comment yeah. on the video. Like yo, can I use yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. yeah and, I, and I would have been like, cool. Yeah, just like link our YouTube or something. I don't care. It's more publicity Same, for yeah. us. But yeah, yeah. You got forty thousand subs, bro. Like you don't make your own content. You just steal other people's content. Crazy, bro. It is what it is, though. It's a sign that we growing. Exactly. We had, we had that happen. We had somebody make a whole video about something that we said in our video. Still ain't coming back after I said what I said. We waiting on you, bro. But that's it. Um, we appreciate all the love. Enjoy the videos that we putting out, growing really fast, crushing our numbers. Um, Anthony was able before you get out here, Mark, because we got two minutes and twenty seconds left on the Zoom call. Um, no, nah, we just like Vic said, we uh we appreciate all the love, appreciate your support. Uh keep it coming. It's only right now, February. Um, so we still got so many more months to go to just increase our numbers and just increase the content for you guys. So again, let us know what you like to see. Let us know if you don't like stuff want to see something switch up just let us know we'll try to provide it for you guys absolutely um next week hopefully lord willing we'll be back in the studio appreciate you guys see you guys next week deuces